Alright guys, so inside of the arena, although new cookies come out and meta does change this one cookie that seems to never die out of the meta and that is going to be no other than Earth Cookie that we have right here. As one of the original healers that we have got into the game, uh, you know, Herb Cookie seems to never die out and always seems to come back like a zombie. All right, and the reason why Herb Cookie is so good is because of the Purify that he has that is going to be on no other cookie other than Clover, which honestly we don't talk about because Clover is not very good for the arena, even though you just want to use him for that purification all right so herb is going to be a way better option and i don't see why you will be investing in clover rather than herb when you have herb all right so with the sherbet meta going on right now because of the fact that sherbet is going to be a great counter to someone like pataya herb is also making a very big comeback because not only do we get to purify but we also get to heal and it's just a better way to get rid of the frost stack compared to something like the monocle which is going to be a very uh, very very high cooldown of 17 second charge as well as 23 seconds every single time you want to use it again so this is going to be the team that we are pretty much using right now in order to counter a lot of the sherbet t knight comms as well as sherbet uh, you know, Stardust comp and things like that that are going around inside of the arena. So let me show you guys the topping and show you guys this team in action so that you guys know exactly how it works and why it is good. All right, so topping. First of all, we are using full on solid almond. You guys can also go with full swift chocolate. But in my opinion, when you guys are going up against the sherbet, it is usually better to go with the full solid almond on holiday and because of the fact that the battle does go on for a very long time for the long run it is better to put on the full on solid almond to not only protect the units but also protect herself so we are going with the damages as, as well as the cooldown focus for me i say around seven to nine percent anywhere in between does work out relatively well and then next one is going to pataya pataya with five of the searing raspberry here we are focusing on the damages as well as the cooldown so a cooldown i know a lot of people ask hey hi Ro my Pattaya always uses skill before that one minute mark. Naturally, even at 0% cooldown, if you do not verse someone like Stardust or Moonlight who is able to sleep, all right, Pattaya, you are always going to use your skill before that one minute mark. So it is better to put the cooldown in order to take advantage of the faster rotation in order to use your skill a little bit faster around that 30 second mark and destroy the enemies. All right, and the next one is going to be Sherbet. Sherbet is using full on Swift Chocolate here as well. We are focusing on the cooldown here, 23% around there is going to be good. 22.4% is going to be like the, you know, a very good place to be. I would say 23% is more optimal. And then we do have the damage resist. A task speed is not required here, guys, but it does help out in shooting those shards a little bit faster. But attack, crit, HP, defense all helps out as well. And then we got Herb. Herb also has two different builds. Uh, you will have to test it out, but... One is going to be full solid almond build. This is what I've been using here and there. Especially when you guys are going up against a lot of the higher rankers. This may help you guys out in, you know, keeping your herb alive. Uh, but you can also go with the full sort of chocolate with the uh, focus on the attack speed. And a little bit on the cooldown. I'd say around 15.8% is more than enough for you guys in my opinion. And then of course the damage resist. Attack speed helps because of the fact that you guys are going to go up against Sherbet. Sherbet does slow down your attack speed and Herb needs to cast a spell and finish the animation in order to purify. So the faster attack speed uh, he has, the faster he's going to be able to purify, all right? And also the healing as well. And then last one is going to be a Snapdragon with full of chocolate, focusing on the cooldown around 23.7, all the way up to 24% is going to be optimal. And then of course the treasures are going to be the Feather as well as the Jelly Watch and the Whistle. Whistle is being applied to Sherbet and Pattaya. So here we go, let's go into the arena. And let me show you guys this team in action. All right, guys. So here we go against the scroll as well as the feather and the jelly watch. Although it is going to be a 2-2-1, it's going to be good to go against the feather when you do know that they have sherbet. So here we go. All right, guys. So this one is going to be that uh, sherbet as well as rockstar uh, T night comp that is going around inside of the arena a lot right now too. So you're going to be able to see uh, because. You know, sometimes uh, you're just going to be able to dodge. You're going to see that front stack is going to be mainly applied to these uh, front cookies, these four, uh, front three. And then sometimes Pattaya will dodge and Holloberry takes all of it. But because of the fact that we have the purification, 
Uh, you know, your burst damage from Pattaya is not slowed down. All right, and uh, you just will take a lot less damage overall compared to the enemies. All right, while they have 15 stacks, you have zero. All right, so it's really, really good here and allows us to stay alive, especially when the feather is pumped on the enemy Sherbet. You know, that tends to uh, be really, really dangerous for someone like Pattaya and Hollowberry, but Hollowberry with the full solid almond especially will survive and will be a lot harder for the enemy T Knight to also go through. All right, so there you guys go. And 7 million coming out from our Pattaya as well as 10.9 million damage coming out from our Sherbet. And the healing herb is not that great, uh, but still, you know, decent amount, 5.2 as well as 5.6 coming out from our Snapdragon. All right, guys, so here's another one with the feather. We don't see a Sherbet, but because we do see a feather here and it's a rock star with the Snapdragon, even if it's a Stardust, we're just still going to go up against it. So here we go. And usually when it's a lower power, it's going to be, uh, you know, tends to lean towards the Sherbet anyways. All right, around that uh, 1.6 million. Of course, it does vary between uh, servers as well as where you guys are in the ranks. Uh, but in the higher ranks, it's around 1.5 to 1.6 is usually what is going to be. And, uh, you know, you'll see a lot of T9 and Sherbet there. All right. So here we go. Our one minute mark and boom. Allows us to use our skill a lot faster. Uh, with the uh, herb purification and sometimes you know Sherbet also does help out uh, Pattaya in using the skill around that one minute mark because his skill animation is so slow with the frost stack all right so it does tend to help him out a little bit in timing the skill here and we should be able to use our uh, fire breath here right around here 25 seconds and boom all of them are going to start melting away our Hollowberry died, not a problem. We still got our Feather. And then because we do have a full Solid Almond on our Hollowberry, she'll still be able to tank uh, the T Knight damage as well. And there you guys go. A little bit more damage coming out from our Pattaya this time around. And then our Sherbet, 7.4 million right behind the Pattaya damage. All right, guys, here is another Feather comp. Let's go. And this time around, it seems like it's going to be a lot more, uh, you know, promoted slash ascended uh, cookies on the enemy team as well because the overall power is a lot higher than the average. So here we go. Let's see how well we do. Okay. And here comes the purification, getting rid of all of those stacks. All right. And again, if your herb is dying, which you probably won't see a lot in, especially if you guys go up against T-Knight because there's no one to really target herb except for that Sherbet, um, then I would say going with full solid almond is not going to be a bad idea. Uh, but, you know, uh, the, the Swift Chocolate helps out in, uh, you know, using the skill rotation a lot faster. Uh, and, you know, you just have the ability to um, purify as soon as quick, uh, as soon as possible, too. So, and here we go. Sure bit on the enemy team dead. We don't even need to use our feather. And boom, we are done. There you guys go. 8.4 million coming in from our sure bit, as well as 6.9 million coming out from our Pattaya. Herb healing a little bit lower this time around. Again, uh, 4.9, but... There is that, you know, area restriction Herb also has in his skill usage, but he's really there for that purification and the extra heal. Snapdragon is going to be our main healer here. All right, guys, our last battle here, another feather. So here we go. Okay, so we are going up against a Pattaya and Stardust this time around. So sometimes uh, you will see uh, this happen, all right? But... Uh, in most cases, you'll still be able to win uh, because Pattaya is usually the one taking the sign of the star debuff. Uh, you just pure find that, allow Pattaya to, uh, you know, tank a little bit more. And then you still have uh, Sherbet who is going to be able to slow down the enemy Pattaya. All right, and here we go. Uh, Herb may die, but Herb is going to come back. And their Rockstar is also just dead already from our Pattaya. All right. So the good thing about bringing Pattaya here, in case, again, you know, there's a uh, Stardust in the enemy team. Pattaya is able to take that Sign of the Star debuff instead of your Sherbet, alright? Because Sherbet taking the Sign of the Star will be a disaster for you. Alright, and boom, there you guys go. Alright, although one of our cookies did die uh, from the Pattaya breath. Comes right back with the feather and heal our cookies. And there you go. 3.3 million from Pattaya. 8.3 million from Sherbet. 
as well as 4.5 million healing from our herb and uh, 4.9 million healing from our snapdragon so there you guys go but there you guys go the herb comp that a lot of you guys have been asking me for again uh, herb does have two different uh, toppies you can use uh, I would say solid almond usually works a little bit better against patayas in uh, most cases because herb does survive and then sherbet is able to die off uh, faster than herb and then use the uh, you know feather buff and uh, come back alive and shoot out the shards one more time but swift chocolate does tend to work out a little bit better uh, especially if you guys are versing some other sherbet as well and then uh, I would say for most cases full on solid almond works and full on sweet chocolate also tend to work out a little bit but in most cases i'll say against tina as well in order to survive and tank for tina at the very end full solid almond is going to be the better option but hope you guys found the video helpful herb is always going to come back until another healer is going to replace him with that purification but good luck with the arena climbing guys and i'll see you guys all on the next one